welcome to Quant Minds International. I'm joined by Blanca Horvat from the University of Oxford today. Blanca, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. So we've spoken a few years ago about machine learning in finance. How has the technology evolved in the last couple of years, two to three years? I could say more about how the whole space have, has evolved because I guess when we first spoke about this issue uh, a few years ago, the space was quite divided. There were a lot of people who were skeptical and then there were people who were for it. And by now, I don't think anybody needs any uh, convincing that AI is here to stay. Yes, and it's often not thought of as table stakes nowadays, isn't it? So how, what do you see in the, in the market? So how wide has it been adopted? How wide has machine learning been adopted? I think basically anybody I know of has one foot in the door when it comes to application in the AI space. And you just can't afford not uh, being involved. Wonderful. So since last year's QuantMind International, um, generative AI took um, the whole industry, the whole finance sector by storm. Does it have a place in quant finance? I think when you say generative AI, and that's not just you, but many people, we think of ChatGPT, which is really the biggest surprise that happened over the past year. But Generative AI was something that we have been actually thinking about already since 2019, 2020. Wonderful. So basically, um, when um, producing this paper on generating synthetic data for deep hedging, this was exactly what we were doing. So in some sense, yeah, we're doing that already. Cool. So um, actually, this is the other thing I wanted to talk about. So synthetic data generation, what are the risks associated with it? What are the challenges, really? Well, synthetic data generation is something that we have been doing for decades, whether we do it with generative AI or whether we're doing it in some other ways, numerically, like Monte Carlo methods, etc. This has been something that we have been doing for decades already. So that in itself, I don't see that it has any risks. Uh, it has a lot of potentials and the fact that generative AI, and now I'm not thinking about it in terms of ChatGPT, but I'm thinking about it in terms of GANs or I'm thinking about it in terms of um, deep learning methodologies that very accurately can reflect the um, structure of the data. Now the fact that it can reflect so clearly the structure of the data also has the danger that it might reveal a little bit more than what we wanted to reveal. So um, privacy considerations and, and these sorts of things that are very inherently correct, connected to data, these become more important. Absolutely. And of course, the danger of bias uh, is there. Of course, that's, that's something that many people have been talking about since a long time. And of course, the sort of data that you supply because that's what synthetic data is usually used for. Um, the sort of data that you supply is going to shape the outcomes uh, of the algorithms that you're using. So if you're inputting biased data, then you're producing biased results. So how can we overcome these challenges? Uh, are, there any, are there any solutions or just quick I'm, fixes? I mean, we're working on that and, and many people, it's not just us, it's uh, basically the entire industry has shifted a little bit the focus on how to produce reliable, um, privacy preserving and, and, and representative data sets. Not necessarily large ones because that's not the main thing as we have learned recently, but uh, ones that are representative enough that we can train our models on it very well. That is currently what we're doing. So uh, I wanted to talk to you about QuantMinds International, which is just around the corner. What are you most looking forward to talk about and learn about this year? Oh, well, I mean, um, there's so many new things that have come up. Uh, many people are speaking about ChatGPT as well. Um, I do think that we need uh, a little bit more cautious approach when we're, when we're using uh, these technologies. But it will be an interesting conversation of how to adapt that into our world. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me today, Blanca. Thank you. Thank you very much.